Hello everyone, I'm Project PowerPoint. Um, people assume that creating a PowerPoint OS Windows system is really difficult. I'm here to change your minds. This is 29 lines of code. It takes around 5 to 10 minutes to make and mistakes are very hard to make if you follow the method very well. So prerequisites, make sure you have a grouped window that you've called it something by going to home, select selection pane. I've called mine window. It doesn't matter what you've called yours. You can call it chocolate cake, banana, fridge, football. I don't care. So long as you know that when I'm referring to window, I'm talking about the shape that I named window here that will be different in your scenario. Now go to the developer tab and draw a image control in the top left of your window. Double click on it and from the drop down menu select mouse down, mouse move and mouse up. Remove the first subroutine, we don't need it, and declare move win as boolean. Declare um, offset x as single, offset y as single. Now, these subroutines here are event subroutines, which means whenever you do something to the little box here, it will show up in these subroutines. In this case, we're using the box here to capture the mouse input. So when we want to move the window, we'll have to drag and drop this box here to allow the window to be moved. And that's pretty simple. When we are holding our mouse down, we want to commence the moving of the window. So we're going to set move window to true. When we're releasing our mouse, we don't, we're don't. we removing and dropping the window. So we want to set it to false. And when we are moving our mouse over this, we if we're holding it down, we want it to be moving the window. But if not, we want it just to be stationary. So we're going to check that with this statement. If move when then and end if like that. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Let's do some um, offset work. So offset x equals x, offset y equals y. You'll see in a moment how that fits into everything. And then we're going to do shapes window because that's what I call mine, dot left equals image. Now, my control is called image2. Yours might be called something else, so go and check that before you write this code. Image2 dot left plus x and minus offset x. Now, do the same thing for y. Dot left, instead of dot left, put dot top. Instead of x, put y. And instead of offset x, put offset y. Finally, we want to set the position of the image to the position of the window. So shapes window dot left, and we're going to set image one e image sorry image two dot left equals that, and image to dot top equals that. Finally, slide show windows one dot view dot go to slide slide number to refresh the slide and that should be able to allow us to drag the window around like that. Pretty simple. However, what happens when we have oops, multiple windows in the mix? Well, I'm going to create another window, call it window 2. And then we just need to modify the code a bit. So because the window name is changing, we need to create a variable for it. So dim win name has this time a string. And we need to create a subroutine to change the selected window. So we're going to say sub select window and we're going to pass an argument because we need to find out which shape was being pressed we need to pass an argument to it like this cell as shape 
This is now a variable that we can use in our subroutine to determine which one was being clicked. Now, when we click on that shape, that shape will be part of a group. So we need to use um, something called uh, parent group to refer to the entire group that it belongs to. So first of all, what we need to do is bring the current window to front. So we're going to go um, cell dot parent group dot z order and so bring to front. Secondly, uh, we need to change the uh, the window name to that of the parent group. So window name equals parent group dot name. And finally, we need to change the image position to that of the group. So we can just copy this section of code and instead of window dot left, we can use a uh, cell dot parent group dot left and top. Finally, instead of window, we're going to change that to win name instead, like so. And that's pretty much it. If we go back and create as many windows as we want, window three, we can now switch between them, presumably. Now, you may need to, for every window that you've created, go to Insert, Action, Run Macro, and find the Select Window code here. The reason I, it worked without me doing anything is because I'd already done this tutorial before, but you'll have to, for every single window, change the um, action to run that macro. But apart from that, that's the entire process done really simply. If you want to add a taskbar, you can always create code for that later. In another video, I'll cover that. But that is a seven minutes at the moment tutorial for a window system. Over and out.